This is the National Framework of Qualifications. Level 3 means you have completed your Junior Certificate Examination. If you're at level 4 or 5, you've completed the Leaving Certificate or the Leaving Certificate Applied. Level 6 is a Certificate, Level 7 is an Ordinary Bachelor Degree, Level 8 is an Honours Bachelor Degree or Higher Diploma, Level 9 is a Master's Degree or Postgraduate Diploma and Level 10 is a Doctorate. Where do you want to be? an arts degree in Minute University uh, way back in 1991 to 1994. Following that I had quite a number of jobs as a bartender, as a, an insurance clerk. Um, I then did my teacher training which is now called a professional master's in education which is my level nine. I also have another level nine in guidance counselling, a postgraduate diploma in guidance counselling and then a number of years later I did another level 9 which is a Masters in Education and Guidance Counselling all of which were done in Minute University in County. I mentioned History at University College Dublin and I taught both of these subjects in Our Lady Secondary School before coming Principal in June 2014. So I attended uh, Dublin City University, DCU um, as it's commonly known. Um, when I first went to college I actually started in General Nursing um, it was a course that I was very interested in doing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see the nursing degree out, as you're well aware. I'm now um, a teacher, a deputy principal here in the school. Um, I transferred into PE and biology um, teaching in, uh, after my first year of nursing. Um, the degree was four years long, focusing on junior cert science, leaving cert biology, and then physical education, and all the different strands there is to physical, physical education. A very enjoyable course, um, lots of practical assessments, and um, had the opportunity to do in different school placements, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, when I finished um, my degree um, in B and Biology, I started uh, in, in Dublin, in a secondary school in Dublin, where um, I taught for a year. Following on from that, I arrived back in a lady secondary school where I was lucky enough to be a student here, and, uh, and then began my teaching career here, and I've been here since that, I, and I'm now the Deputy Principal in our lady secondary school, and I've been in that role for the past three years. My name is Clerken, and I studied Irish history in National University of Ireland, Galway and I did my postgraduate uh, higher diploma in education in University College. I worked in the Gaeltacht for a couple of summers and I taught Irish there in the summer colleges and I also worked in the Collegiate in Monaghan and I worked in the Marist or St Mary's in Dundalk before I came here in 2006. So I did my undergraduate degree in Maynooth University which lasted three years. That was a double honours Bachelor of Arts degree in which I studied Irish and French between my second year and third year, I spent three months working in France. I worked in a creche and a youth information centre, so I gained plenty of experience and use of the language. I also travelled to the Gaeltacht with my college uh, course and fellow college classmates for three weeks. Um, and then I completed my year in Maynooth and then I went to DCU to complete my um, postgraduate degree, the Professional Diploma in Education and the Masters of Education. That lasted for two years. I did my teaching placement during the day and uh, completed lectures in the evening time. I studied in DCU St Pat's campus in Drumcondra. My degree is in religion and English teaching. So I stayed up in Dublin in Drumcondra for the four years. So I was able to, um, I wasn't travelling up and down, so I was able to work away at my core studies in the evenings. And I would come home at the weekends and work part time in Centra and then Super Value. 
and the skills I gained from my part-time job I would still I would use in my career as a teacher, interpersonal skills, communication skills, teaching um, new members of staff. Um, really enjoyed my time in Dublin. I stayed with a lovely lady in Diggs when it was great pressure off me, knowing that I was coming up to a nice clean room, a lovely warm house. She even cooked my dinners for me four nights a week, which meant I could really then focus on my on my studies and my coursework. When I finished my four years, I decided to stay on an extra year and do my master's. And I completed my master's in education and leadership. And for that year then, I had decided to come home. I worked as a substitute here in the school and other schools in the local area, and I still held on to my job in the shop. So I would work during the days, do my coursework in the evening, and travel up and down to Dublin to do my lectures. It was a tough year, I, I won't lie, and there did come a point where towards the end, I had to finish my thesis to get my master's and I just didn't feel I could do it. I felt my tag was on empty and I just felt I was just gonna defer it, call it a year and pick up where I left off the following year. And it was through a um, very comforting conversation from my mother who had just said, you're just feeling a bit overwhelmed, take a cup of tea, take a break, go back to it, but do get it finished. And I will say it was the best advice she ever gave me. I got it all finished. I got my master's degree in the one year and it was a massive um, accomplishment for myself and then it meant when I got my job here in the school I could give my full time to my students and my job and I didn't have to worry about that thesis. So I'm Mr Moreau, I'm a teacher here at Our Ladies. I did an undergraduate degree at Trinity College where I did uh, the BEST programme, Business, Economics and Social Studies. Um, on graduating from that program, I worked for uh, an American company in Dublin called H.W. Wilson Company, where I was a business writer. Um, I did that for two years, where then I returned to Trinity College and did a diploma, diploma in education. Once I got, got that completed, I started in our Navy Secondary School in 2002. In 2005, I undertook part-time study to do a master's program International Relations at Dublin City University. Really enjoyed that. Completed my dissertation in 2007. I got my graduate with my master's degree. I spoke to different lecturers at DCU at the time and different ideas I had in terms of pursuing a research agenda. Um, I came up with the idea of um, doing a project looking at the impact of the troubles on the southern border counties. I approached an uh, academic in the University of Ulster and he agreed to act as my supervisor. And from there I commenced in 2009 a PhD on a part time basis and I graduated in 2015 with a PhD. And subsequently produced a publication based on that research, which was quite well received. Um, I'm a firm believer in lifelong learning, in your education never stopping, and I'd like to think that. I'm not finished education, even at this point, having achieved a PhD, your learning never stops. Hi, so I done my undergraduate degree in St. Patrick's Trincondra. I studied history and geography for three years there. I then made the bold decision to go over to Liverpool, England to do my PGCE, so my postgraduate certificate in education. Um, I studied there for one year doing my teacher training. Um, I absolutely fell in love with the city that much that I ended up staying for four years altogether. Um, I worked in a secondary school there, mainly teaching history and geography. Um, it was an absolutely wonderful experience and I worked with some brilliant students during that time. And then from that, and I decided to move to China. Um, I stayed there for three years and I worked in an international school teaching history and geography. Um, I lived in a city in southern China called Guangzhou. Um, it was a brilliant experience, um, completely different maybe perhaps to what we're used to maybe in Ireland. You know, there was 19 million people living in the city, uh, which was just amazing, an extremely busy place. Um, but an amazing place to live at the same time. Um, teaching in China was brilliant. Um, it was fabulous opportunities for me to develop my skills as a teacher, but then also personally as well to learn a new language, look into a new culture, and then obviously um, take advantage of the amazing location and do lots of sightseeing and tourist activities as well. Shishi and Shai I attended University College Cork. I uh, studied for four years 
in the BA Sports Studies and Physical Education. And the option that I took was History. Uh, and after this I did a Masters also in History in University College Cork, which is the level 9. So I studied in St Andrews College in Sligo for four years. I have a level 8 um, Bachelor of Education in both Home Economics and Religious Education. I really enjoyed my four years in Sligo in college. It was busy, I'm not going to lie, it was very, very busy, very intense course of mostly 9 to 5. Um, but it was very informative, very good, um, small class groups as well, so you felt comfortable asking questions and asking for help off your lecturer. Um, accommodation wise, Sligo was great. Um, I was very lucky to stay on campus St Angela's student residence for the four years and I loved it. It was like staying in a hotel room. It was fabulous and excellent staff. But I know my friends who stayed in Glen Carrig, Ardnua, and um, lots of different housing estates around Sligo, which was about an eight kilometre drive from um, St Angela's and they got on grand there. It's important to make sure that you know that transportation to Sligo from Monaghan is horrific. So it's important to try and get a lift with someone. There's lots of lift pages on social media platforms like Facebook. There's you know St Angela's um, St Angela's lifts um, to help you get a lift from Monaghan to Sligo. I went to UCC and did a level eight arts degree in geography and religion. Um, after that, then I did my masters with Hibernia. It was an online way of learning with um, one Saturday a week going to a cohort meeting group as part of our course. Um, online learning suited me great because I could work away full time while I was studying um, for two years. Hi, my name is Miss McSorley and I studied uh, in Queen's University Belfast and then I went on to study in DCU in Dublin. Hello, I studied my undergrad at New University, I done a Bachelor of Arts and I'm currently studying at Level 9 at Hibernian College. Hello, my name is Sarah McBrown and I'm a sixth year student in Our Lady's Castle Blaney. I am in the middle of completing my CAO and I hope to study Psychology in DCU. After I complete my degree, I hope to study a Master's in Criminal Psychology. Hi, my name is Kara Walsh, I am currently a sixth year in Our Lady Secondary School. I am doing the LCA programme. After sixth year, I hope to do a PLC course in Pre-Guarded Security in Ophie in Dundalk.